walk down through the woods to go to the little gate. You can see the cow parsley is all coming up and the bluebells, there's loads of bluebells. Look, the bluebells are about to flower to the big nettle patch to harvest some nettles. Okay, dogs, out of my way. Through the gate to the wild vegetable patch. Come on, old man. Good boy. Yeah. So here's my nettle patch. Oh, and you can smell the nettles. Absolutely smell them. And you can see the different greens are different kind of richnesses. So there's this green here. And then over here, this is a paler green. You might be able to see the difference between that one and those ones. I don't know if the video will show it, but these greens here are darker and those are more yellow. So you can tell the different kind of nutrient factors, who's richer. I think the this might be lacking something because it's green. There, you can see there's one color and there's another color. So you can see the two different colored nettles as far as uh, which is the richer one. And I would think that the darker green ones would be the richer ones. So I've got my scissors and I've got a basket to collect my nettles, to make uh, nettles, steamed nettles with butter. Yum, 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 yum. see picking the nettles. I'm only taking the very top but so only the very very top of the net. So collecting them and like spinach you need loads to cook from because it'll boil down so loads and loads plucking away here I will be or clipping because my I don't I'm not wearing gloves. So I'm using the scissors as my hands. Go away, insect. Come on. Good boy, girl, whoever you were. Oops, that one has a bit of bird poop on it. Whoopsie daisy, that has a nest on it. Do you see the nest there? Whoops. That has a nest right there. So I'm gonna go put this in another location because that's probably caterpillars or something or eggs. So I'll put that somewhere else. Getting a good fill of them. They're really a beautiful little plant, though they sting. In the cooking process, they don't sting. They lose their sting. So here is going to be a really <coughs> fast meal on the aga. And basically all you need is a big frying pan, a couple of knobs of butter, some fresh cut nettles, a lid, some lamb chops from last year's uh, crop of lambs. And we're basically, the knobs of butter are being melted now to begin with, um, but to put the chops on. So we will put the chops on the pan. 
uh, the knobs of butter are mostly, not so much for the lamb, sorry, but for when the, um, what is this stuff called? Nettles come and be put on. So first, the, um, and I'll probably put more knobs of butter in in, in a minute. Um, oh, I need a knife, look at that. Okay, I need a knife to cut that. There we go, no. There we go, okay. So, I prefer to get them uh, browned one side and then the other. So, I'm doing this a little bit arseways, but you'll get the idea, it's very easy. So, those, now, wash the butter through the system. I'll be putting on more butter um, just before I put the nettles on. So this is the first step is to fry, get the um, lamb chops going because this will have to really, oops, excuse me, the lid just fell down. This will uh, happen really, really quickly. The um, nettles, the cooking of the nettles are very, very quick. So this is this sizzling away, very good. Maya thinks something's happening. We've had fox visitors. So you can hear that. You can still see the butter running about the place. I'd say the chops are browned on the one side. So I can turn them over. Yeah. Seals in the flavors. There we go. Let that sizzle away for a little while. Okay, let's see. Yep. Okay, both sides are sealed. There we go. Looking good. And it's beginning to brown. So that's good. Only just beginning to brown, and this is the right moment to add a little bit more butter in. This is the butter I get at the farmer's market. So it's made by the farmer who milks the cows. Now, butter is melting in there. I'm going to flip these one more time and you can see they're browning lovely. Flip these. There we go. Now, There we go. Oh, there go the dogs off again. Probably the visiting fox. Smell is incredible is all I can say. Now you pile it really high up because this is all gonna, it looks like it's loads. It looks like it's a mountain of um, nettles. But it'll fry right down to nothing. Then, you put the lid on. Hold the lid for a minute or two because the height of the nettles is higher than the frying pan. Now, that's done. The frying pan is, the nettles have fried down enough that that's on properly. Okay, let's see how the uh, nettles are going down. They're going down beautifully. Absolutely beautiful. A little bit longer and then we'll be ready. Okay. Ouch! This is looking good. So move the spinach, not the spinach, this is actually uh, nettles. 
Let's get the, uh, that's one chop. This is the second chop. There's the third chop. There's the fourth chop. So, I might have slightly overdone the chops. The aga, you don't necessarily know how the aga is going to be working because of the wind. You can draw more out of the chimney and make it heat hotter. So there we go. Now the uh, metals are all on the bottom. And we put the lid back on again. Probably should have turned those um, lamb chops sooner rather than later, or sooner rather than when I did, but there's a bit of a breeze going in a particular direction, so the draw is uh, making it hotter. So that's my own fault. So this is really looking delicious now. You can see the nettles now they're soaking up the butter at the bottom. Mm. Yep, that's looking great. Okay, now. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to shave some nutmeg on top of the nettles. I always find it brings out the flavor of, um, it brings out the, adds to the rich flavor of the nettles. Now I have to put the camera down to do this, I'm afraid. Put the lamb chops on top. There. Now there's, sadly, they're slightly done, but that's the aga sometimes overdoes um, and it's cooking. So, but that now is my lamb chop and fresh nettle lunch and you can add salt and pepper uh, as you like i add a um, twist of pepper on that the salt i feel is enough in the butter <laughs> 